Well, as a parent, there's nothing more important to me. I mean, having healthy kids, mm -hmm. we all strive for that. You do everything you can to make sure that happens. Yes, but with something like the Zika virus, there are so many questions. It's why CHI Health is hosting a free session on having a safe summer pregnancy. Dr. Richard Starlin is with CHI Health Infectious Diseases, and uh, Lisa Strassheim is the Director of Women's Health. Mm -hmm. Thanks for stopping in this morning. It's nice to have you here. There's a you lot know, of right? questions about us. this. It's all over the media, so we're going to mm -hmm. uh, try to answer some of those. So, Doctor, exactly what is the Zika virus and how does this spread? Zika virus is a virus that uh, we've known about for about 70 years. 70? Yes, it 70 was initially years. found in Africa and it's gradually worked its way east and it made its way to South America in the last oh, two to three mm -hmm. years or so and now it's spread throughout South America as well as the Caribbean. Mm -hmm. um, it's spread predominantly by mosquitoes. Uh, is the primary way where people would acquire it, but it can also be spread sexually as well as from a pregnant mother to her unborn baby. Mm -hmm. And there's a theoretical risk that you could get it with a blood transfusion as well. When we see the images of these, these newborn babies and you, if you physically see the, what has happened because of the virus um, and you hear doctors talk about, I mean, parents are scared to death. Um, ab about the impact on their children and so what should expecting moms know about keeping their babies healthy and safe? Well you definitely uh, Zika virus has been linked to microcephaly and other congenital uh, abnormalities. Uh, the, the thing to know is that the risk here in Nebraska is, is pretty low. It's mostly associated with travel. Mm -hmm. We don't expect uh, ongoing transmission of the uh, virus here in Nebraska but it's certainly something to discuss with your uh, with your doctor if you are pregnant and concerned. Certainly travel would be a risk. Mm -hmm. And the other thing that I think is key to know is that there's many things we don't know about Zika virus, especially Zika virus in pregnancy. And so there's a, a lot of studying going into this to try to figure out um, more information that we can provide to patients. A lot mm -hmm. still to learn, but what do we know about Zika and what that virus does uh, to infected women who are pregnant? And what does it do to the fetus? Well, it, the most common thing that we've been associated with is microcephaly, mm -hmm. which is when the baby is born with a very small cranium. Um, but you can also have uh, other uh, abnormalities as well. And all of the uh, abnormalities are, uh, that we're looking at are being still studied so that we can determine what is the risk, when the risk might be if you acquired at a certain point mm -hmm. during pregnancy. Mm -hmm. uh, so right now the main focus that we're doing is trying to avoid uh, anything that might expose a pregnant mother to the Zika virus. And you said the numbers aren't that high here um, in our area. Do you know what they are? How many cases there have been reported in Nebraska also in Iowa? Currently in uh, Nebraska there have been two cases that mm -hmm. are reported on the CDC website. I don't remember Iowa's off the top of my head. Low, but you know, you worry about the Olympics and that sort of thing, and that's where people start to get concerned that the spread happens more rapidly mm -hmm. with travel to South America. Correct. Travel is going to be the biggest risk factor that we mm -hmm. have now, persons traveling down there and then returning back, perhaps with Zika virus. So if you're considering pregnancy in association with travel, mm -hmm. there are guidelines that can help uh, give you some uh, idea of what you might be thinking about and discussing that with your physician. Lisa, you have this upcoming seminar that you're yes. going to address a lot of this stuff, more than we can get to in the five yes. minutes here. But what are you going to uh, discuss? I assume myths, um, how people mm -hmm. can get infected. What are you going to talk about? Yes, we have an opportunity. We have uh, two of our providers, uh, Dr. Jim Smith, who's maternal fetal medicine, and he will be um, having a short presentation and a question answer uh, session for anyone that has questions. And then we also, um, to lighten it up a little bit, we have one of our uh, OB-GYN um, physicians, uh, Dr. Aaron Talaska, who's just going to do some overall um, information about how to survive a, a summer pregnancy. Mm -hmm. uh, let me know when it's so hot and people concerned about what sunscreen can mm -hmm. I use. Not just Zika. Yeah, not just Zika. We want to make it a little uplifting because um, we know everybody's concerned about Zika, but to give some overall um, information for mm -hmm. a healthy pregnancy during the summer. June 23rd, that's the day. Yes. We're just looking at that information. Mm -hmm. uh, who would you invite to this? I would say anyone that is currently pregnant, anyone that is thinking about starting a family. We get a lot of questions from women about, should I go to Mexico this summer because uh -huh. I'm thinking about having a baby and getting pregnant. Uh, dads, significant others, family members. Mm -hmm. um, it's going to be a really fun mm -hmm. event. We're going to have um, some food and people can get a, a quick uh, tour of mm -hmm. our maternity sites and our NICU there. Mm -hmm. So um, we're real excited about it and everybody come out. But what I'm he I hear you say is even though you have these topics, mm -hmm. which you'll, you'll present and talk about, 
women could also bring their own questions in. Absolutely, and that's what we're hoping for. Yeah, that's June 23rd. Yes. Doc, she brought up a great, great question. People traveling to Mexico, what are the risks should uh, women who are thinking about getting pregnant or are pregnant, should they be concerned about traveling? Um, I think if they're thinking about getting pregnant, yes, there should be some concern with traveling. The current recommendation is, is that if a, a woman travels to an area where there is ongoing transmission of Zika virus, that they wait at least two months after returning to consider mm -hmm. a pregnancy. Mm -hmm. um, in men, it's a little bit more complicated because we don't know how long sexual transmission can be passed from man to a woman. So the current recommendation would be uh, wait two months if there's no symptoms at least. And if a man has had symptoms from the Zika virus infection, then wait at least six months. But again, mm -hmm. there's much more information that's going to come out of these mm -hmm. as we get more information uh, from uh, studies. This yeah. free seminar, it's on June 23rd. Um, we've covered as much as we can here this morning, but that's why we'll send you to this event. Um, it is free. CHI Health Lakeside there at 168th and Center. And then online at chihealth.com slash childbirth dash education. Thank you both for being here. Yeah, really appreciate your insight. We still have a lot to learn on this, but yes. thanks for the info and, and attend that seminar. Yes, if you have absolutely. questions. All right, on this day,